Hey, it's Lisa here, and today I'm going to show you how to make butternut squash baked mac and cheese. To make our base, we'll start by melting some butter. Next, we're going to add some flour. I use gluten-free all-purpose flour, but any kind of all-purpose flour will work. What we're doing is creating a roux, which will help us thicken our sauce when we add milk. Now we're adding two cups of milk here. I use 2% milk, but feel free to use 1% milk or full fat milk if you want a richer mac and cheese. Do you see the sauce thickening in the middle? That's the roux doing its work. Now, we're going to let the sauce simmer for a few minutes so that it gets a chance to thicken. See, that's the consistency that we want. Let's get some spices in here too. I've added some dried oregano and some dried thyme, but feel free to add whatever you want. We're gonna add some granulated garlic. I like granulated garlic because it blends better. We're gonna add some black pepper, and of course, some salt. Next, we're going to add some butternut squash puree. Now, what you see is homemade. All I did was roast butternut squash and then blitzed everything in my food processor until it was smooth, and that's pretty much it. Once that's all mixed up, we're going to add some cheese. I used a blend of mozzarella and white cheddar, but feel free to use whatever cheese you want. Finally, we're adding the pasta. I poured all the pasta into a baking dish that I greased with olive oil. Guess what? We're adding more cheese. This extra cheese adds a lovely crispy layer on the top, so don't skip it. We're going to bake this for 15 minutes and then broil it so that it gets nice and golden on top. And there you have it. Hope you enjoy this butternut squash baked mac and cheese.